how to install MameUI 12 custom ROM based on MameUI 12 on the Redmi K20 Pro or the Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro. Hey peeps, what's up? Manji here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install MameUI 12 custom ROM based on MameUI 12 on the Redmi K20 Pro or the Xiaomi V90 Pro. If you want to have a look at the features of this ROM, I do have a separate video for that, which is linked in the description of this video. And you can also find it in the pinned comment. We can first go into settings and if I go into about phone, you will see that I am running MIUI 11 global stable version 11.0.4.0 based on Android 10 on my Redmi K20 Pro. What are the prerequisites for this video? For starters, you need to have an unlocked bootloader, then you need to have Tor Recovery installed, and then you need to be decrypted. How do you find out whether you are decrypted or not? Well, for that you'll go into settings, password and security, and then you'll go into privacy, here it is, encryption and credentials, phone not encrypted, which means my device is decrypted. How do you decrypt your device? I have a separate video for that as well, which can again be found in the description of this video. Next thing you need to make sure is that your battery is charged at least 50 to 60%. Do not do this process if your battery is at 20 or 30%. Also make sure you have a backup of all your pictures, videos, and anything important which you have on your device, because if we run into any boot loops then we will have to do a format data from to up recovery in which case you are going to lose all your pictures videos and anything important which you have on your device next thing we'll go into settings and password and security and you need to remove password fingerprint unlock and face unlock once that is done go back go into me account and remove your me account once that is done go back go into account sensing and remove your google account once you have removed all the accounts and security measures Make sure you reboot your device once. Why are we removing all the accounts and security measures? We're doing this because we're going from one ROM to another and I don't want you to be locked out of your own device. What are the files which we need? All the files which we need are linked in the description of this video. And you need two files. The first one is MameUI 12 ROM file. And then the next file which you need is Disable Force Encryption file. These are the two files which you need. And once you've downloaded the files, Next thing we need to do is boot into to up recovery. For that, the first thing we're going to do is turn off our device. And once the device has turned off, press and hold volume up and power button at the same time till you see the to up recovery boot logo. Once we have booted into to up recovery, we'll go into wipe, advanced wipe and select Dalvik cache system vendor and data and then swipe to wipe. Once the wipe process has finished successfully, click on the home button, go into install. And now you need to navigate to the folder where you have downloaded all the files. In case you downloaded the files on your phone directly, they will be in the download folder. In my case, I have transferred them manually, so they are in the root directory. The first file which we need to flash is the MameUI 12 ROM file. So select this file and then click on add more zips and then select disable DM Verity or DFE and then swipe to confirm flash. Once both the files have flashed successfully, we need to ensure that there were no errors. So we can scroll and here it is. You can see that script succeeded. So this is for MameUI 12. And if you scroll down, you will see that for the disable force encryption, it is patching the fstab file in vendor slash etc, which means disable force encryption was also flashed successfully. Next, click on the home button. And now if your device was encrypted, then you do need to perform a format data. So you'll have to go into wipe format data, type in yes, and then click on the check mark button on the bottom right of the keyboard. As I mentioned earlier, format data will result in wiping out of all your pictures, videos, and anything important which you have on your device. And again, format data needs to be done only if your device was encrypted. If your device was not encrypted, like it was in my case, then all we need to do is go into reboot and select system and bam there it is we have the new MAME UI boot logo in the building and we also have the me ui 12 boot animation which means our device is booting into MAME ui 12 custom rom based on me ui 12 the first boot up will take some time so you have to be patient and there it is we are on the setup screen let me skip the initial setup real quick 
and now that we are on the home screen you can go into settings my device there it is miui version is miui 12 and rc6 is the beta on which we made the video device name is redmi k20 pro you can also go into settings and password and security and go into privacy there it is phone not encrypted which means disable force encryption was also successful and because we were already decrypted we did not have to do a format data so there it is peeps that is how you install mem ui 12 from based on me ui 12 on your redmi k20 pro or the xiaomi mi 90 pro and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you